Hi guys, hope you're all doing good today. Before I start, I just want to mention a small thing right here. If you ever declare a variable as a double and store in it a value of an integer like this, it's it's totally fine. It's going to accept it, the compiler is going to run and it's going to work and everything is going to be okay because there's no difference between 3.0 and 3 in calculations. The only thing that is different is it appears to be 3.0 or not, and it, it, it varies from virgin to virgin. But if you try to do int x equals some type of double, some virgins of programming, la <coughs> programming languages wouldn't even accept it. it. It'll just give you an error. In this case, it'll take it, but it'll just take off the point 0.4, which you don't want that to happen anyways, right? So like if we, if we just had the C out right here and put x you'll see that it'll um, right here debug it and it'll just print out 3 for you right as you can see right there so we don't want that to happen so just never do this never declare a variable as an integer and put in it a value of a, of a double okay anyways let's start with our tutorial for today we're gonna be talking about CMath now CMath is a library it's just like string and we're going to include it today so include uh, CMath okay so what CMath has because it's a library right so it has different functions different mathematical functions one of those functions is POW and POW stands for power right so POW basically it's right here so let's let's first um, have some variables ready double x y and uh, actually give them some values x equals 2 and y equals uh, 4 okay now pow is basically a function that accepts two doubles right so you can put x and y like that in that order that's the syntax for pow okay POW is a, a function that is already made and saved into the CMath library, okay? So you have to stick with the, the way we write it. So POW, um, parentheses, with any function you're going to have parentheses and you're going to have parameters. And the parameters of this function are um, X and Y. So what this does is basically take, it's basically X to the Y power, okay? That's all it is. So if you want to see out this, so see out pow x y, it's going to see out x, which is 2, to the y power, and y is 4. So 2 to the 4, and that's what it does. So basically, let's see if, if that's what it did. Okay, we have errors, missing semicolon before this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I love about programming. I mean, it's all easy to debug. And again, I do this on purpose. You know, I make these mistakes so that you learn um, 16 right there okay so 2 to the fourth yes that is 16 okay great and yeah th that mistake was not on, on purpose I was just kidding um, okay so let's see here if we wanted like if we wanted to add 1 to that value we can just do that right because this this right here it's better to always put it in like parentheses to make sure that you're getting this whole entity here in one. I just like to do that because it looks like all in the parentheses and everything else is going to happen after that. Because remember our like rules of precedence start with the parentheses so it's kind of like that. In this case it's not going to make a difference but you know I just got used to putting parentheses everywhere. Okay so if we add one it's going to see out 17. It's, it's just like a, another variable. That's how you can use this pow here. You can use it for anything you want. Okay. Now another function is the uh, ABS function. The ABS function is basically the absolute value function. If you put ABS of any double, okay, it gives you the absolute value of it. So let's say Y was negative uh, 4, defined as negative 4, and you put Y here. And you can actually put the negative 4 here, okay, it's, it's okay, I'm just um, trying to use variables. Okay, so debug. Let's see what happens. Let's take off the 1. Okay, debug and start without debugging. Yes. Okay, 
So you can see that it gave us the absolute value of the y, which was 4. Okay, now if you put 4 in the absolute value, it's going to give you 4. And you know, that's a known, that's a known function. It's just math, right? This is just the syntax of how like C++ um, does it. So you, you have cosine, for instance, of the, the like, you know, um, a degree in radians. And you have, you have a lot of functions, the log fun function, log. So you have several mathematical functions, okay? And we can use all these functions integrated with anything we want. We can use, um, we can add, subtract, we can use them as if we're using a number or a variable, okay? So this log y can be used as, you know, we can actually make it a variable. We can say, um, double, define double as z, and um, or actually just put it on the same line. So double z equals log y. See, now it has become a variable. So you can see that we can just use it as a variable, you know, so see out um, z like that, you know. We can even actually have the user enter values and then try to, you know, um, use them, use those values in mathematical functions like this. So like, say, c in um, y, okay. Now, now he's entering something and what we're going to do is basically get the um, let's say the absolute value of it, okay, and see out the z, right, and let's put those brackets right there. Okay, so, you know, you can do anything you want, really, and now this will just give you, um, you know, it, the user's gonna put in a number, like, say, negative 9, and we're gonna print the absolute value, which was 9. You can do anything you want, have fun with it. Remember that this library is C math, and we have to include it any times we any time we use you know any kind of mathematical function like this. Not any time we add, subtract, uh, you know, divide or multiply. No, any time we use these functions like abs, power, log, cosine. There's a lot of them. I'll leave a link in the description of the video, and you can find like you know a lot, like a billion, not a billion. You know, I'm, I always say billion. But, you know, you can find a lot of um, functions. Okay, well, watch my next video. And, um, yeah, we're going to do some more stuff, some more cool stuff. Bye.